For our makerspace use of um, Tinkercad, we want to keep things pretty simple. Um, as you've seen in the tutorials, there are lots of fancy things that you can do in Tinkercad, but students really need to just know some basic things. We don't necessarily have to worry about scale and measuring things. Um, kind of some basic things that they need to be able to do is just to drag over a shape and resize that shape into whatever shape they want it to look like to kind of change the thickness. And then also layering. So adding a new work plane on top of the shape that already exists. Um, a lot of kids like to do something like with their name to begin with. Uh, so you could go in And then under your basic shapes, go down to text and drag over some text onto your object and have them put their name. So a simple thing students might make is like a keychain kind of scenario. You want to also show them how you can take something on a layer and sink that down into the shape that's already there so that it if we end up 3D printing it, it's all attached. Um, because if it's not pushed together well, it won't 3D print. We don't really want to tell them that we're going to 3D print everything. I'm going to try to look and see who completes something successfully, and then they can 3D print um, their object, or I'll slowly get to those. Um, if they're making a keychain, another thing that they'll want to be able to do is create a hole um, for the keychain to go. And so just dragging over something like a cylinder and getting that put toward the top center and then using the little black cone to sink that in. Um, it's also good to show them how to group things, which is just highlighting a box around their object and then grouping it. So your group button is right here and then that makes it a solid object so you can move it around. So that's kind of the basic things that they need to be able to do. Um, students will be using a touchscreen computer, so they should be able to use their finger to move things around on the screen, and then they'll also be able to use their mouse pad um, to highlight things. This will be third and fifth grade, so most of them have experience um, using their mouse pad. Third, fifth graders will be a little better than third graders. Um, and then once they've made something sort of basic, if they want to get into some of the fancier things that you've learned about, you certainly can show them um, how to kind of take their designs to the next level. But we really just want them to successfully make something simple to start.